can you tell us a little bit about the symptoms associated with hypothyroidism? Sure, yeah, hypothyroidism, uh, hypothyroidism is essentially, the symptoms are the opposite of hyperthyroid, um, where your thyroid is, um, uh, so hypothyroid is where your thyroid is slow, and so everything in your body is kind of going very slowly. Um, so you can have uh, big symptoms are uh, difficulty concentrating, feeling very tired or fatigued, dry skin, um, brittle nails, the nails are breaking all the time, um, hair loss, the hair can be uh, thin and brittle, and it can fall out very quickly. It can cause depression, um, feeling very cold, constipation as well, and a lot of patients also complain of weight gain with hyp hypothyroidism. Right, interesting. Those are all the same symptoms I feel after I pay all my bills at the end of the month. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so are there any other symptoms that we should be looking out for when it comes to hypo? We had a nice graphic up mm -hmm. there. Um, anything else? Um, that we should be looking at, a little sure. red flag? The biggest things that I saw that weren't on that graphic were the weight gain. Um, that was the, the biggest thing um, uh, that was on there. And the fatigue, really. Patients complain a lot of uh, fatigue and brain fog, so difficulty concentrating. That's a very uh, common complaint of hypothyroid patients. So weight gain, I know mm -hmm. um, there's been a lot of talk in previous years about it being a strong correlation with, with um, having thyroid mm -hmm. issues. It definitely can. Um, so. That alone, should that prompt you to ask your doc, hey doc, I've put on a few pounds, can you check my TSH, is that, uh, yeah. should, should you have other symptoms in there I mean, well? listen, um, the, the fact is that weight um, and uh, uh, obesity and, and being overweight is a very uh, prominent uh, problem in our society, and so there are so many different things that contribute to weight and weight gain, um, and the thyroid is one of them. So I do think that it's important if you, if you are uh, gaining weight to check your thyroid and just make sure that it's normal. Most likely it's going to be normal, but it's always good to rule it out and make sure because we do have good treatments for it if it does end up being the case. And just a little quick thing about weight and thyroid, you know, uh, a lot of patients come to me and they're 20 or 30 pounds overweight and they think, oh good, I have a thyroid problem, it's gonna fix everything. <laughs> but it usually doesn't. The thyroid, um, when we talk about weight gain with thyroid, it's usually only about five, eight, 10 pounds, something like that. Oh.